Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing you this amazing PHP project and MySQL. As you can see here on my computer screen, I have this one folder called Online Pizza Ordering System. In this project, I'm going to show you how to run this project and also extract and also how to uh, run the project. So, I created this project using only PHP and MySQL and the front end is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So kindly before starting this video, uh, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel and also share with your friends. So here I have this one folder. You can see it's a zip file. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is extract this file. Okay. So we're going to say extract to extract here. So what is it going to do is going to extract. So let's just extract and here you have our new extracted folder. Inside this folder, you can see we have our files, the images, we have everything. So what I'm going to do is we are going to run our ZAM. But before doing that, we need, we have this one DB. This is the database. This is the database that I used, uh, MySQL database, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this file and I'll put it in my folder here. And now you can see we'll have our database file. So we need to move this file in order to run this uh, PHP. We need to use a server called ZAMP. So for me, I'm using ZAMP. So kindly tap he type ZAMP and here we have our ZAMP control panel. I'm going to open. What I'm going to do is we need the Apache and the MySQL only. So I'm going to say start, start. Next, we need to open the database, the DB, the MySQL DB. So I'm going to say admin. If you click this admin, it's going to open to the Chrome page. And here we have where we create, this is where we create our database. So let's now move the file. So let's go back to our home screen. Here I'm going to copy this file. Firstly, I'll open my file explorer and under downloads. So for this file to go to the, we need to copy it to, we need to move it to the HT docs. This way they, we keep our, all our PHP projects. Simply, if you can't find this, you can just go to your local disk C or disk PC, click this one and here you will see this file folder called ZAMP. Click this folder. Next, you will see this HT docs. This way you keep all your PHP documents and your project documents, all, all of them. For you to run, you need to put the all the project in this folder, okay? So now let's go back to the, our downloads, I mean our desktop. And we're we are looking for the file online ordering, pizza ordering system. This is it, okay? And you can see we have our database also. So what I'm going to do is we are going to move this folder to the HD docs. Simply it has copied the, all the files. And here it is. What I'm going to do is open with code. So this is my Visual Studio code. As you can see, I created this project using the PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Also, I'm going to click the order.sql. Now for me here, I want to know the, the DB table name. So here it is. The database name is orders. I'm just going to copy this name, go to back to our Chrome, this we go to localhost slash php my admin. Here we are going to create a new file, the database name which we are going to copy paste orders. Click create. Next we are going to import our database. Simply click the import tab. Next let we have this and uh, where we can choose the file and I'm going to I'm going to my htdocs HD, after this htdocs we'll go to our folder pizza online pizza and simply click this database next you can say open and there we have orders.sql simply click import and you can see it has created all our 
it has created successfully. Import has success has been successfully finished. Now simply as you can see under orders this table if we click it we have the comments contacts and orders. Let's click orders and you can see I have run some, some several tests here. Simply now we need to open this project so simply if we want to run the project you will go back to your history docs and look for the folder name. Simply just say rename then copy the folder name then you will go back to your chrome extend chrome i mean then type localhost slash your folder name of the project and it has successfully run our project here you can see we have our logo we have our menu list we have all menu services blog about contact next we have this amazing background image and you can see it's a it has amazing slider. Let me just minimize, zoom zoom out. And here you can see we have we have this amazing slider. Simply have these two buttons. And you can see this is the front end of this project. Next we have this the mills. And by the way, if you click one of these buttons, it will take you to the order page. Okay. So let, let me, before doing that, let me just show you the front end of this project. So as we scroll down, you can see we have our, the price of the pizza. You can see we have rings, burgers, pasta. We have all of this. And we have our Google map. We have contact us where you can just fill in and send the message and it will automatically go to the DB. And you can see we have followers on social media. So now let's try to, to book a menu. Okay. Let's try to order. So simply I will just click this order now and it will take me to this page, the pizza order form. Okay. Simply I'm going to type my name or we can just say code mall you can type the the address you can say oh she carol next i'll just fill phone number then i have to select the size of the pizza if you want small medium large i'll just select large because large is always the best right so next we're going to do the toppings if you want to add toppings you need you have this amazing like you can just tick whatever you want for toppings also we have the crust you can say if you want thick thin whatever you want then we can write a special instruction and let's say kindly deliver well okay and we can just click this order now and you can see we have this pop-up message that says order place successfully now let's go back to our database and see if this we we got the data simply we are going to refresh this page and if we click orders and the orders we are going to get orders again and you can see we have this order new order you can see right code mom deal with the address we have the phone number the size the toppings and the crust instructions we said kindly deliver well and you can see that is that data went straight to the db and next let me just come back to my home page this time i want to send a message okay if you don't want to order and say and just send a message you can just click the contact and go back here and we can just type our name corner next you can type our email also the subject if you want uh, you can say i want a large ordering you can say order pizza and i can say here kindly i want a large large 
people you can say large uh, pizza delivered to our shikarot and this message okay sorry this the uh, i misspelled okay so if i send this it's gonna send the message successfully you can see it says thank you for contacting us simply now let's refresh the page and go to orders and here we can go to contact and you can see this is the latest person called contacted us and said and this is the message he sent so guys this is the complete it's not complete i wouldn't say complete yeah, or online ordering yeah, i mean online pizza ordering system but this is just a mini project okay for you can use for your college and if you want for practice you can use it all okay so by the way uh many guys have asked me yeah, and most of my well, my projects are not for free uh, but this project a uh, simple this is just a simple mini project i'll be giving it for free uh, for the first 20 people so kindly please don't forget to mail me and i will give it to you this project for free and you can do your own practice and this is just a good practice so that's all for today's uh, video kindly please again subscribe to the channel we're almost uh, 4000 kindly subscribe to the channel so till next time bye